Hi folks, Lenny the LARPer here. I'm the new Canadian prepper. I run this channel now. Yay! Oh, We're my arm! Oh, oh! Lenny, get the f out of here. Oh, Lenny, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, Jesus. Let's do this again, bud. Your arm's a little broken. That's all right. Hi, folks. Lenny the LARPer here. Canadian prepper's taking a little mental health break. And uh, we're gonna talk about survival gear for once. And we're not gonna talk about those pesky Russians anymore. No way. Let's go check out some new survival gear. So let's say the shit's hitting the fan. Maybe there's a forest fire. Maybe there's a mass evacuation. When you got a bug out in a moment's notice and space is a factor, you can take this little thing right here, which is about the size of a one liter bottle and simply go like this. And then you get yourself out of Dodge. Most inflatables that are worth your time and effort are much larger than this. But this thing basically can fit inside a fanny pack. It can fit inside a backpack and it's also very durable. So let's pull it out here and see what we got. So the Climate Lightweight Dinghy only weighs 44 ounces. It has a 300 pound capacity and it is the smallest and most durable flotation device on the market. It's basically a portable bug out boat. It's made out of 210 denier polyester, which offers excellent abrasion resistance. And you can also use this USB rechargeable pump, which has a 60 minute run time and is amazing. I feel like a French voyageur. Where's the fur? This is the giant Wizzy Wipe. Now you guys might recall that years ago, this channel became notorious for what is now known as the toilet paper tablet. Thank you to yours truly for making this a worldwide phenomena and clogging up toilets all around the world. However, those all American number twos required a bit more attention. So I consulted with the Wizzy Wipe company and we brought you guys this. Enough talk, let me show you how it works. See, these things are super easy to use. You just dunk them in water and there you go. You can use this for anything you want. You can whip people with it. You can use it as a, a sling if you want to, you know, fight giants after the apocalypse. You can use this as a diaper. If you have the children's, you can use this as a bandage. You could use it as a sling. You could use this as fire starting material. And of course, you can use it to wash your backside if you ever need to, or you could just use it as a beach towel. You can even use it as a parachute if you need to bug out. This giant Wizzy Wipe is incredibly strong, but not as strong as me. It's even strong enough to lift up this EcoFlow Delta, which is 100 pounds. Wow, it actually works. All right, guys, so this is Aramid, also known as Kevlar Thread, also known as Aromatic Polyamide. What the hell does that mean? Liquid metal. So this is a heat resistant, highly durable material. Obviously, many of you guys know this is what bulletproof vests are made out of, but it's also great to have in your survival kit for a number of reasons. As you can see here, we're actually sawing firewood with it. Not that you would really do this in a survival scenario, but just to demonstrate its strength. It can cut through wood, plastic, zip ties, you name it. You can use it for sewing heavy duty materials like leather, there's fishing applications, and of course you can use it for lashing or shelter building. This is actually a 350 pound static load Kevlar thread, is about 100 pounds or so dynamic load. That means if you're constantly tugging on it, you can do a wide variety of things with some Kevlar strings. Up next is a battery case to store your batteries. This one is called the Battery Daddy. Now I still haven't figured it out if this is some kind of conspiracy by the battery companies just to get you to buy batteries because to fill this thing up with batteries, you're probably gonna break the bank. But if you use a lot of batteries like I do, it's worth it because it keeps them all organized. You can see on the one side, we got our Ds, we got our Cs, we got our As, our double As, our triple As, our nine volts. And on the back, there's a whole wall here just for the most used, which is the double A's. It's durable, but perhaps not durable enough in my opinion. I think this could be 
just slightly more robust a plastic. The other gripe I have with this, and I think this is why I think it's a conspiracy, is because there is no place for your CR123 lithiums. There's no place for your 18650 in your other lithium battery variants. So this is kind of old school, even though a lot of electronics still require these kind of batteries. Organization is half of preparedness. So pick yourself up a battery daddy through the link in the description. One of the funnest videos we ever did on the channel was when we reviewed this CampSafe Fifth Ops Perimeter Trip Alarm System. This is a great early warning system for threats which may breach your perimeter if you're in a bug out camp or if you're in a bug in location, even if you're around your house, maybe you live in the suburbs and you want to set up a tripwire alarm to notify you if somebody comes on your property. This is going to be good for situations where you need an auditory signal. So motion detectors and motion lights are great, but of course your eyes have to be open for those. This is loud enough to wake you up. You can get the 12 gauge primer variant or you can get the 209 primer variant. Now we've done an in-depth review of these, so go and check out the videos of those that we've done. And just so you know, the components for manufacturing ammunition don't require a license to purchase. So when you do get your hands on these, you probably don't have to worry about getting the ammunition. As always, make sure you consult with your state or provincial laws with respect to the purchase and acquisition of ammunition. This is the Grim Survival Card Set. Now it's great if you are adept in the wilderness and you are knowledgeable about all this kind of stuff, but somebody in your group may not be. This, in my opinion, is one of the most comprehensive card sets on the market for survival cards. It comes on this waterproof piece of paper and there's a variety of different tools within here. So starting from this side, we have this sun clock, which is very similar to the method of using your hand to determine how much sunlight is left in the day. We have a net weaving tutorial as well. We have water and solar disinfection, which is probably the most efficient way to purify water if you have a clear plastic bottle or plastic bag. We have distilling water. We have tracking wildlife via scat identification. We have tracking wildlife via footprints. Then we have food preservation using the smoking technique. We have a basic shelter configuration card, which is incredibly useful. It shows you 12 different types of shelter configurations using just a tarp. It also sh shows you on the back some natural shelters. A card that shows you a variety of different snare setups, a protractor and a ruler, a fishing trap card, which could be very useful, a card that just reminds you how to boost your car if you need to use jumper cables. There's also this very useful card. We've done a video on this before, a short video that shows you how to eat the cambian layer of a tree in order to survive if times get really hard. We have the Morris Code card, which is great for communication, universal communication. Up next is this communication card with international distress signals. And on the other side, there is a sign language tutorial. Then we have our lock picking card, we have our map tool card, our drinking straw lure card on the other side, a jug line fishing tutorial, and a venomous snake identification card. So a very comprehensive set. These all fit into this nice little container and you can use this to char your Tinder. So multi-purpose. When it comes to disaster preparedness, flooding is a big issue. That's why you should always have a good water pump and a way to power it just like this Zendur Super Base 2000, baby. Operational security is a big factor when it comes to emergency preparedness. There's gonna be a lot of bad people around. One of the great things about this device is that it's completely whisper quiet. You can barely hear it at all. This is just going to be something which is gonna be very useful for moving water from a low elevation to a high elevation. When you're trying to conserve calories, it's better to use the energy stored in your solar power banks to do the heavy lifting, if at all possible. And water is gonna be one of those things. You know, Jack and Jill fetching a pail of water. We all know how that story goes. You don't wanna fall down no hills and crack your skull when there's no more doctors around to give you medical treatment. Especially if you're trying to irrigate crops, you're gonna need a way to move water effectively to where it's needed. 
One more thing I would recommend is a hand pump, if at all possible. This type of technology is great and all, but sooner or later the motor is gonna go. But if you get a man-powered unit, it's gonna be a great backup in case this one breaks down. Alrighty guys, thanks for joining us today. I want you to go and check out all the links in the description if you want any of this stuff. A lot of it is available at canadianpreparedness.com where we only stock the high-end premium gear that you can rely on when you get caught in the many storms that are coming down the road. Now, we're gonna be doing videos like this every other week to showcase all sorts of novel and offbeat survival gear ideas that you probably haven't seen before. So stay tuned and hey, go check out our other videos like you see here, especially the one that made me famous. Damn, why the hell did this have to be the video that made me famous? Anyways, I'll take it. You guys take care. Canadian Prepper out. This is actually pretty nice. This is my kind of Friday. The best way to support this channel is to support yourself by gearing up at CanadianPreparedness.com where you'll find high quality survival gear at the best prices, no junk and no gimmicks. Use discount code prepping gear for 10% off. Don't forget the strong survive, but the prepared thrive. Stay safe.